Honestly, guys, I put absolutely no planning efforts into today's video. Also, hi, beautiful. How are you doing? You know why, though? Planning sucks the fun out of everything. I'm not a planner. And when I plan things, I'm just like, ugh, ugh I don't want to do it anymore. When I don't plan things, like, it actually ends up being more fun for me. So I decided today, even though I usually plan on my videos, I'm just going to wing it, dude. Like, I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen, dude? Just live life. Let's just have fun. Let's just go for it. Let me see what happens. Well, let me just tell you what's gonna kind of happen. I guess I kind of have a plan. Oh my God. I'm always so, I'm always so planned. I have a sort of a plan today, I guess. A rough sketch, we'll call it, of today's activities. <laughs> Mackenzie Marie does it again. She is the queen of doing crazy hair videos and doing things through her hair that she shouldn't be doing. She's been a hairdresser reacts victim many times on this channel. Yeah, no stranger to hairdresser reacts, so. Hi, Mackenzie, how you doing? Did your hair still on your head? I think it's still on your head, so that's good. You got that going for you. You've successfully kept your hair on your head this year. You go, girl. Mackenzie Marie colored her hair with Sharpies and a lot of people were intrigued by it. And I actually was very intrigued by it too, but I haven't watched it yet because I wanted to watch it with you and see exactly how she does it. Because I was kind of like, hmm, how do you do that? Like, do you literally take the Sharpie and color it? What am I missing here? Honestly, I've never colored hair with Sharpies before. I did a lot of things when I was a teenager and the coloring hair with Sharpies was not one of them. I know, like, uh, what am I doing in my life, you know? Uh, but we're about to find out how she does it, how she colored her hair with Sharpies, see if it came out good, and then I'm gonna bring in Miss Manny Quinn, and I'm gonna do her hair with Sharpies only and see, you know, what's going on. Like, if the color actually comes out good, if it doesn't, if it actually works, anything could really happen today. So let's first watch Mackenzie Marie do some stuff with Sharpies. Let's do it. All right, here we have Mackenzie's video. Dying my hair with Sharpies, permanent markers. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Hey! I'm being honest, lately I haven't been doing so well. But it's probably because of the mess that's on top of my head right now. I'm just What's going on, girl? Up! Uh, my hair yeah. is messed up! What's going on? You know what I mean? Why are your roots piss yellow? What is that? You'll want to explain to me what that is? Because I don't get it. What am I not getting here? Today's video is really exciting because I have been wanting to do this ever since I made my last markers video which you guys love so she's coloring her hair with all sorts of shit now where have i been i want to try and dye my hair with sharpies why wouldn't you color your hair with sharpies right why don't we just fast forward this and see exactly how this process is gonna work because i still can't wrap my brain around it am i dumb and slow or am i just a little dumb and slow Today I'm trying to fix the mop on top of my head. Today's main focus is on wanting to dye my With hair sharpies. more of a bluey Makes green sense. color, and I want to get rid of these roots. Let's see if markers can actually dye like oh. bleach hair. Mm. Okay. Oh. I got a different pair of scissors for this because I I thought maybe this would happen. Oh my god. Looks mildly dangerous, which. Is right up my alley. I love danger. You know what I mean? Like a little fire action. I love fire. I love scissors. I love cutting things. I love. I love fire. So you have to cut the marker, it looks like. That's what she's doing. She's cutting the marker. That's exactly what she's doing. And this is gonna get everywhere. How am I supposed to do all the markers? Play the end first. How do you open the thing? Don't cut your finger off. Oh, 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 I got it out. Hmm, this contraption looks very familiar. I pulled this out of the marker. I have okay. a glass of water. I'm going to dunk it okay. in I want okay. it to turn a little bit white. Like, you see how the marker's kind of turning mm -hmm. white like that? That's what we want. In a separate glass, I'm going to blow the ink into it. Oh, am I gonna die from this? Can you just, like, put your mouth on markers like that? Like, is that okay to do? I mean, we'll see. If I die today, I'm like, might as well just go for it, you know what I mean? Like, I come this far on my YouTube channel, like, I might as well just die doing it, you know? Like, I don't wanna die, guys. Actually, this would be pretty good, like, pretty accurate to my life story if I died while doing a Sharpie hair video, you know what I mean? Okay, so she's blowing the I can already tell that pigment the into is a so cup. pigmented. This is really gonna work. This is actually gonna dye my hair. You know, the other one said non-toxic on the bottle. These are definitely toxic. I didn't so look I for that at all when I bought markers. No one do this at home. Great. A lot of ink. So now let's open the next one. I like this color. Okay, so she's doing more than one color. I think I'm gonna do like a few colors. Cause like, why not? Like, 
Sorry, it's hard for my face. Oh, you can actually just pull it open? Yes! I did not want to cut every single marker. Oh, it's so toxic. My eyes are burning. Ooh, that's a pretty. This is gonna color, suck. Let's make the dye now. I'm gonna take a bowl like this. I'm gonna add in some white hair dye. It's not white hair dye. It's actually just clear, basically. <laughs> There's no such thing as white hair dye, Mackenzie. Uh, and this is Arctic Fox. I actually have this stuff. Um, it's diluter. So I'm gonna use this as the base of my hair dye. Along with that, I'm going to use a bond sustainer. I have that one too. Very damaged. What this does is it rebonds the ends of your hair, kind of like an Olaplex, but I'm using the brand Uberless. If you got damaged hair, this stuff is good. Pow! It does make your hair dye really sticky though. Now I'm taking the Sharpie ink and okay. I'm going to pour it into the bowl. Oh, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Ooh. Wow, oh my God. The moment of truth, let's stir it up. The hair dye is oh. a more on the blue side. That's actually a really stunning color. Wow, that's actually really pretty. Her hair is actually gonna look really good, I think. Basically, like that's sort of how a hair color is made. You take pigment and you add it to a diluter to make the pigment you wanna make and make the lightness or the darkness of it. So sort of kind of just that's how you make color. So it makes sense that this would work. Theoretically, I don't know if it's gonna like really stain her hair forever or it's gonna wash out really quick. I wonder how equivalent hair color pigment is to Sharpie pigment. I wonder how much stronger or less strong each of them are. If any chemists are watching, let me know. Because I'm not expecting this to actually like really dye my hair. I think it's more so gonna stain it. But that's the whole point of this experiment is to see if it actually does dye my hair. Dyeing and staining are kind of similar things. Well, I guess when you say dye, you kind of mean a, a lifting and depositing. So when you're using a developer, you know, it lifts your hair follicle, opens it up and deposits color inside of it. This is just laying on top of it, which is correct. It's a stain. Pretty much any fashion color, any kind of bright, bright color you're going to get, most of them are stains, not dyes. They don't lift your hair. You know what I mean? They're usually doing permanent or semi-permanent or any of those other permanents besides permanent. I might have my hair blue for a little bit. This looks really nice though. The colors are really cool blue color. So let's put it in my hair. Gonna start uh, like this, like this. Okay, so it is beautiful, very even. It's a very nice blue color. Kind of shocking to me. This looks way too good. Like way too good. What the hell? Now I'm really intrigued. I need to see how this comes out, dude. I feel like it's gonna actually look really good on her. I am really happy with my hair color. There's a lot of what? alcohol in Sharpies and I figured my hair was going to be really what? dry and really disgusting. You're... But I what? because I put the bonder in it, my hair's actually pretty soft. Wait. It feels a lot healthier than it did before I had dyed it. Wait. My hair was chilly oh. bleached while that came out awkward. Why does she have like the most perfect, subtle, dark aqua blue to light aqua blue ombre going on? She used a Sharpie. This is either not real or I'm shook about it. Like she could have switched the bowls and then actually use real hair color on her hair. At this very moment, like that's what I think she did. And like, this is totally not a real video. We're gonna test it today, so we'll see. But I also feel like Sharpies can color hair because it's ink. I don't know though. It looks like too good. It just seems like not quite believable. She looks amazing though. I love that color on her. I just am not convinced that this is a real thing. So now that we learned from Mackenzie Marie how to properly do this whole thing, hopefully it actually works. We shall see. I have paper. Guess what else I have? I have Sharpies, every single color you could possibly imagine. I also have metallic ones. So we're gonna try these. And I also have neons. Who doesn't love neon hair? Oh, I also have Miss Manny Quinn. Hi. Welcome back. She is back. She is so cute. She's like a level eight gold. So like we're gonna have to do something that's a little bit deeper. I'm not sure if the neons are actually gonna work for her. Or it might be a little bit too light. Let's test out what the neons actually look like real quick. That's not neon. In what world? Okay, that looks neon on camera, but that doesn't look neon in person. Okay, that is neon. Pink. Not really that pretty. 
Okay, that literally didn't work. Let's throw that out. Uh, and yellow. Okay, that's also dead. Great, I love when people sell me markers that are already dead. It's so sweet. Um, you can't see half them because they're not that bright. The orange and the pink are pretty bright. I think those can stay. Just don't know if this is gonna be bright enough to color her hair. I mean, like, why not try, right? That's what today's video is all about. Like, it might be a fail, but at least I tried. I don't know if the metallics are really gonna work because I'm pretty sure it's just like glitter inside of it or like some very fine metallic y thing going on. I don't know. That's not metallic. That's just blue. Somebody lied to me on these ones because it says metallic right there. So thanks for that one also. Some dead markers, some ones that actually don't work. I love that. I just bought these today. That's so fun for me. Okay, somebody's playing me. The silver works for sure. It is so metallic. However, I'm not gonna use the silver because it's just really not gonna show up on her yellow ass hair. So that was a little stupid for me to buy these. So if you're gonna buy markers, don't buy the metallic ones. Okay, and then we have the big pack. So why don't we just use like a couple of darker colors? I'm gonna definitely want to use, okay, let's just like purple. Let's use red. Let's see blue. These look pretty, but I don't mean, I don't want to do all of them. I like this plummy red. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a 100% for sure. We're using this one. That is so pretty. The red would also be really gorgeous on her hair and I think would work really well considering her hair is already kind of like very warm blonde. I guess we have to try the neons, right? I just don't think that's gonna really show up. I don't think I'm gonna use the neons. I'm sorry. Maybe we could do her ends in orange. Hmm. So here are the colors. Okay, I want to do like three colors here. I definitely want to use the purple and the red here. These two. I just don't think the orange is gonna show up and I don't want to make me, 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 me. I want to make that happen to her hair. I don't want to be ugly. Blue. I'm gonna use the darker colors. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna use the darker colors. My best bet to actually making something happen here. I think what I'm gonna do is like blue roots, pink middle, and red ends. I'm just going with the flow. I told you, I'm not planning shit today. I'm just gonna do it. And if it doesn't look good, <laughs> Ew, it's a mannequin, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go grab a glass of water so that we can do this. I'm gonna break these apparently and okay, we'll just get started with it. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. That's a little scary, huh? Bowls, brushes, clips, a comb, sharpies and water. I mean, she just literally ripped the marker apart. I don't like this. Oh. Of course, the one thing I forget is gloves. I already got all over me. All right, I got the gloves on. We're going to now take this stick and I don't know if there's a difference of what side you're supposed to blow on, but uh, I'm gonna guess the side that's not in the cap. So we're gonna dip it in here. She said until it turns kind of whitish. I think we're kind of like melting it a little bit. I think that's good. I really don't know if I'm supposed to leave it in longer or not, but let's see if anything comes out. This just doesn't feel right. This is so gross and it smells so bad, but it is coming out. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Okay, so we have some ink in here. I feel like I need a lot more though. I don't know. I feel like we're not getting enough. Also just like smells obviously like Sharpies and you're just inhaling it. Okay, that's gonna be that for me for now for the blue. Mackenzie had way more in here. You guys, we're not gonna have enough color to do her whole head. I'm so sorry if that's a letdown for you. Listen, I'm just going with the flow here. We're gonna just see if this actually does anything. And that's gonna be the goal of today's video. Uh, instead of doing a whole color, I just wanna know if this works. Cause we're not gonna get a whole color out of this. There's no way. We're gonna let it melt a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead again and do it all over again. And hopefully we get a little bit more ink out of this one. I feel like that one was a little bit dried out. <sighs> I've hit rock bottom. This is so difficult, you guys. Oh my God, just go buy hair color. Like if you're actually thinking about doing this because it's like logistically better for you in some way, just don't because this is so hard. Let's do one last color. <laughs> This just doesn't seem healthy. I mean, not even that it doesn't seem healthy, like it 100% isn't healthy, except what's really in this? Just alcohol, like what am I gonna, like, what am I gonna do, die? Like from drinking alcohol, like I would've already died by now, you know what I mean? I don't really know what the water is doing, but I'm just gonna follow the directions for once in my life and just do the water thing. I just don't feel like it's actually doing anything. <laughs> like, I don't know why it's squirting everywhere in here, but is it on my face? That is. All right, well, that's 
all I'm really getting out of this one. Okay, I clean my face. There's no more Sharpie on it. And now we have our three colors here. I think that I have enough of all of them, hardly. I have my Arctic Fox diluter here and we're gonna just do a little at a time. At the beginning of this, I was like, let's color her entire head. And then I realized we do not have enough color for that. Not even close. So we're gonna just see how, you know, how much color we can get out of this and just see how much of her hair we can do. I really just wanna see like what happens. I don't really care if we color her entire head. Um, uh, I still think it's cool to like just see how this works. This is actually a really pretty color. Arctic Fox mixed with this is a really nice scent. This is actually really pretty. What? This is the color. Oh, dude, that is gonna be so pretty. This is kind of like all I can make with it is this much or else it's gonna be too light. That's enough for like a strand. <laughs> mm, yeah, this is the red one. Yeah, the red. Ooh. It's a, kind of like a berry red. Oh, these bowls are gonna be so stained after this. Okay, this is definitely light. I don't know if this is really gonna do much. It's kind of like a cotton candy pink. And then the last one is the, the kind of like raspberry color. And this one is also kind of light. I don't know if this is gonna actually color her hair. Well, why don't we just test them? Let's go for it. Let's get applying to Miss Manny Quinn's head. I'm gonna just give her like a nice strip over here of color. She's gonna look fabulous. We are not gonna do much of her hair. However, we're gonna get a good sense of what happens when you use Sharpies to color your hair. All right, we have her nice and covered because Sharpie does stain, if you didn't know that. Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty staining. So we have the blue, which I'm the most excited about and I feel like is gonna have the most effect on her hair, obviously just cause it's the darkest. And we'll try that one out first. We're gonna do that at the root. Then we're gonna do kind of like a little ombre effect. Oh, wow. That is deep. Oh, wow. I have a really good feeling about this. Wow, that's actually really stunning. Try not to get it all over her face because I know this is just not going to come off, but don't blame me if it's all over her because um, I'm not like the cleanest person ever in the world. If there was ever a hack in the world, this is like so far the hackiest of all hacks. This is actually very interesting what's happening. All right, let's start from the bottom, work our way up and do all three colors. And I'll try to show you guys as I do it. It's actually this beautiful aroma of Sharpie and beautiful um, Arctic Fox smell, which they honestly have like the best smelling color ever. I'm gonna try and make this <laughs> blue lasts as long as possible. We don't have much of it, so I'm gonna have to be kind of uh, the opposite of generous with this right now. Come on, last me, baby. Can we get all our roots done? We shall see. We're in the final stretch here, guys. We have enough color. This is so messy. Okay, so we have our blue roots. Now let's see the blendability between these colors. Let's see if we can get some kind of like cool blending moment going on here. And honestly, it looks like it's really seriously coloring the hair, which I kind of expected it to, but I don't know. Still just weird to me. Now let's go in with the kind of purpley plummy color and let's do the mid lengths for hair. Okay. Yeah, we are getting somewhere here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Will it be dark enough to like actually show up? I don't know, but does it look cool right now? Yeah, it really does. And the colors are really blending nicely. It's weird because it also just feels like real hair color. What the hell? Okay, and lastly, let's go in with the light pink on the ends and just finish this off. I'm just gonna go at it. Oh, the pink doesn't really look any different than the purple. Ooh, no. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? All right, I'm gonna do something else. Think fast, okay. What do we do? I think I should add like something into this. Orange? I'm gonna add orange into this because it's just not looking like anything different. It's like boring. So I, what I realized is the reason why you have to soak the markers is so that it doesn't splat out everywhere onto your face and onto your clothing like it's been happening to me. Okay, so now we have a bit of pink and a bit of, a lot of bit of orange in here. And we're gonna add more diluter. Now this is gonna be a poorly color or more just orange or whatever happens when it hits the head. It's still just like pink. All right, well, I guess it just wants to be pink. So let's just 
do the damn pink. All right, I guess it's a little more like orangey pink. No, I mean, it's definitely different than the middle colors. So, like we're gonna get a bit of variation. Okay, it's like a blush tone. Okay, so I have the three colors applied here. It's actually really pretty. Um, and I'm feeling really good about this. I'm gonna clean myself up, wait like 30 minutes, rinse this off, blow dry, and show you guys what happened. I'm feeling really good about it. And I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that, but we'll discuss more when I come back and it's all blow dried. I'll see you then. Okay, so here's the thing. For some odd reason, I really wanted this to work. This just ain't it. First of all, I don't think Mackenzie Marie was lying. Let's get that straight. As I was coloring the hair, I was like, oh, I kind of feel bad. Like I just called her a liar. And um, she clearly didn't lie. Like you can definitely make your hair a different color clearly with Sharpies. Yes, okay, it does work. This isn't white hair. Mackenzie had pretty white light hair when she started. I started with more of a yellow toned hair color. You're not gonna get, you know, the most optimal results unless your hair is really white. However, you would be able to get much nicer colors in this uh, if it was real hair color on this type of hair. It's so splotchy and I don't know what that is. I know for a fact that I covered every hair strand so thoroughly with so much color. There's no reason it should be splotchy. I did shampoo it once because I didn't want my hands to turn all blue and pink, even though I already have Sharpie all over them. The blue obviously took the most because it was the darkest. So that looks pretty decent. The red made this like pinky color and then the orange and the purple together made this kind of coral color, which is actually like my favorite part. I think of all this coral at the ends, I think it's the most even and the most kind of like pretty, but otherwise there's no like luster to it. There's no real shine. It does look shiny in the up close videos and on camera. I did use electric rain moisture cream, which is really the reason why it's so shiny and soft because before I put it in, I started blow drying it and I was like, wait, this looks terrible. I might as well put a little something in here to make it, you know, at least look decent. I like using my own products and I'd like to keep testing them and keep trying them out. I use it on top, but I also wanted to try it on bottom without it to see uh, actually how rough the hair is after using so much alcohol from the Sharpies. And like, yeah, it's like gross hay down here. Like it's not cute. Usually with demi-permanent color, you're getting a lot of conditioning. Your hair should feel so revitalized and amazing after using a demi permanent color, you typically they're formulated to be very conditioning and have a lot of nutrients in them to make sure they're good for your hair. And you're not lifting your hair, you're only depositing color. So it should actually benefit your hair um, and only make it feel better and look better and look shinier and look healthier. And this did none of that. I mean, listen, if you're in a pinch, man, and you, it's all you have around is some Sharpies or, you know, your parents don't want to buy you color or like 13 year old teenager and you're just trying to be angsty and like color your hair behind your parents' back, use Sharpies and don't tell your parents I recommended it. Um, and Mackenzie, your hair looked great. So good for you. I mean, I don't know how you did it, but it looked great. This, not so much, not very happy with this whole situation going on. I tried my best. It looks decent and that's my conclusion. You can color hair with Sharpies. However, I wouldn't recommend it and it, you're just gonna get way better color with um, real color. It's not any really more expensive. Okay, maybe like $10 more expensive or like $5 more expensive. Okay, maybe a little bit more, but it's just gonna be so much better for you. I don't know, do whatever the hell you want, man. You're not gonna ruin it. You're not gonna wreck it unless you're using developer um, and, or bleach or anything like that. So have fun with it. Your hair might look like shit, but you know what? You can always fix it. So yes, you can color your hair with Sharpies. Wouldn't recommend it. And Mackenzie Marie, congratulations. You slayed that. And I'm happy I finally tried that. I was very interested in if that would actually work. And now I know. And that is all for today, guys. Don't forget to check out X Mono Hair where all my fabulous, glorious, amazing hair care products live that I created myself. And I hope you guys just feel amazing and beautiful and confident every time you put it in your hair, any of my products. And that is why I created it, to just spread confidence to all of you through hair care, because that is how I know how to make people happy. And that's how I've built my career, is just making women feel confident. And I hope X Mondo can do that for you in some which way. And it'll also make your hair just feel amazing and so much more glorious and shiny and healthy. And with that said, follow X Mondo Hair on Instagram for updates and new product launches. And Follow me on Instagram, BradMondoMYC, and Twitter. And that is all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.